glad you decided to join us. What's going on? Chef Adair Shreds here. Welcome back to another video. Please watch the video until the very end because that's what's gonna make YouTube like my videos and help them be promoted to more one wheel riders. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up as well. This video is gonna be about my brand new 357Ts from Tech Rails. Yep, check these bad boys out. Sheep. We think you will agree when it comes to the 357T height adjustable rails that you will be hard pressed to find another rail of its quality on the market. Matthew Shoemaker, he had one simple goal, make the best possible rail with no restraints on budget. Here you have it. These are the best rails money can buy. All right, I know that you see me riding my gold versions over the past several months. Well, I was actually testing them out for Matthew Shoemaker of Tech Rails. I was making sure that these rails could take the drops and the abuse that you guys would be shredding them on. And they passed the test. In fact, this past weekend, those gold rails podiumed at the very first ORL race of the 2023 season. We placed second at the 2023 Let It Ride 2 regional event. These rails are fast as heck. The reason they're fast is because they're so low to the ground. These rails come with four different height settings. I ride on the lowest one. That's how I'm able to ride really fast on uneven terrain and stay locked in on the board because my center of gravity is better. Now, where did the 357 name come up from? Well, easy. In the front of the board, there's a 3.5 angle up, sort of like a skateboard, right? And in the back, there's seven degrees. So slightly in the front, more aggressively in the back. But like I said, the number one pro about these rails are how they're so low to the ground. These rails use an open truss system. The open truss system saves weight, it increases strength, and provides an opportunity to introduce tuned compliance. Tuned compliance is a small amount designed in flex. This slight flex increases ride comfort without sacrificing ride feel. The open truss also increased cooling by increasing airflow through the rails and onto the axle carriers. These rails are made from 7075 aluminum. This aluminum is 50% stronger than stock rails 6061 aluminum. They are also 15% lighter than stock. The axle carriers clamp around the axle. This clamping eliminates the tendency of axle bolt from loosening up while riding. This clamping also pulls heat from the motor. This heat is shed into the frame rails and shed through cooling fans machined into the axle carrier itself. The titanium axle bolts are as strong as steel but half the weight. Don't forget to order the GT Motor Harness Plug Retainer. This retainer was developed out of the need to prevent and or correct the growing issues of the broken plug retaining rings on the GT. We highly recommend installing this product as preventative maintenance. And it keeps getting better. Guess what? We have these in stock at onewheelparts.com. Yep, in stock. Five different colors, blue, red, black, gold, silver. So go ahead and click the link and check out these rails on the site. Okay, on a, on a quick note as well, we have 50 more rails on pre-order that you can purchase. They're the cheaper versions of the 357Ts. They have the same angles, but they're just not skeletonized like these are. They are a mere 450 where these stand at 800. I know these are expensive, but check out all the things you're getting. You're getting these axle carriers that give the rails more surface area to help out with overheating. Within those axle blocks and axle carriers, you have four different height adjustments. These rails, because of the four different height adjustments, allow you to slam to the ground and ride very comfortably. But if you like lift kits, this actually has a lift kit built inside the axle carrier. You can, you can lift this thing. In fact, at Let It Ride this past weekend, my homie Jeff had his lifted. It was tall as heck. Check it out, I got a picture of it. So I feel like the best bang for your buck are these rails because you can fully dial in, right? And get it to your perfect liking. Now with these rails, you are gonna have to do the digital tilt. Because of the 3.5 in the front, the one wheel thinks it's already kind of nose up. So it tries to compensate by making it go down. Well, you can do a digital tilt now and it will dial these in. That's what I've done. I have a digital tilt done to this board where I've slightly higher the nose up and uh, it rides very level and it's, it's just super clutch. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and get on onewheelparts.com or tech rails and secure you some 357 T's. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is add some new Ignite Foam grip tape to my tech rails. I'm gonna go with 
two millimeter foam in the front and I'm gonna do the hex two millimeter in the back with the blue. I wanted to change it up a little bit. I've been rocking the four millimeter for so long. I wanted to go ahead and just switch to the two millimeter, kind of give that a rip. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on some stock two millimeter in the front foam and some hexagon two millimeter foam in the back with the blue underlay. And coming soon, watch out for this video. It's gonna be coming in the near, near future. It's going to be my Tech Rails Race Hub video. Yeah, I'm getting a solid gold race hub for this board. When that happens, it's gonna be money. And also, real quick, teaser. Remember the Sobra video? Yeah, I got a Goofy version finally, and I got a Sobra video coming as well. Please subscribe to the channel because I have so many videos dropping. I have the Lemonade video about to drop. I have the Let It Ride 2 Las Vegas video about to drop. I have the Sobra video about to drop. And also, with the Sobra, uh, I talked with Riley Johnson after the Lemonade Float Fest because he absolutely killed it, you'll see in that video what I'm talking about. And uh, I got some control freaks to try out, and I've already had the Overlanders to try out. So coming soon will be an all-out war. Sobra versus Overlanders versus control freaks. We have a lot in store for you. Hit the subscribe. Let's get it.